So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. All right, so here we go. One of the fighters that a lot of people think could make a championship run in this division. And the term well-rounded obviously is overused in modern-day mixed martial arts, but I think it applies. Yeah, absolutely, Chandler. We speak privately about these fighters, and when we talk about this kid, we talk about what is in the future. Because if you look at him short term, I think you're not doing him justice. This guy possesses all the skills in order to be an elite level mixed martial artist. Now, is it guaranteed? Absolutely not. But he seems to have the foundation of framework to become a UFC champion. Let's see if he can continue on that path with a victory tonight. And one thing he all but guaranteed was a finish, either by knockout or submission. So we'll see if he gets it. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at Team Over the Arena in Las Vegas today. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the chosen one. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Kai! All right, Herb Dean, third man Green in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the team over arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva. But the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on the great arena. Man, they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This is going to be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big hook. Oh, lands a nice straight. Right oh, big elbow. Clean left punch followed by the right. Three minutes. Nice kick. Lands the jab. Leg kick. It's those leg kicks that's eating them alive. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's eating him up. A big double leg, double change. Always offensive. Lands a shot from the bottom. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Beautiful leg to land. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Start looking for the 
finish here. Oh, he got it. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kai! Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TKO. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.